An image sequence is a series of images which played back creates an animation. Those of you that are familiar with the internet back in the early days can remember animated GIFs. Animated GIFs are basically a type of image sequence. <laughs> Welcome back party people. Today we're back in Lightworks with a quick tutorial on working with image sequences. I will be working in the flexible workspace. So if your project does not look similar to mine, go up into the system settings menu, scroll down to project layout, and you wanna change from fixed to flexible. So let's enter our project here. And I have already imported one video clip into my project space here. And this is just my introduction, and it really sets the sequence timeline to a 24 frames per second. That's what I'll be using in this particular project. So there's really two prerequisites in order to import a series of images as an image sequence. The first prerequisite is to have a folder of images. Now, the image names needs to have a numerical component that increments by one in the order that you would like the images played. So most cameras and capture devices will create the successive numbered, which will allow you to import these as an image sequence into Lightworks. The second prerequisite is an import menu setting, and this one's often missed. You're gonna click on the three dots at the top and scroll down to where it says detect image sequence. Click on that to enable, so make sure it has a check mark. If you don't click this, basically what happens is you get a series of images individually imported into Lightworks. And you, you can work on those individual images, pull them down to timeline or, or sequence as you see fit. However, if you have detect image sequences enabled here, Lightworks will automatically look at the number of the imported images and create a video clip from those images. Let's go ahead and import our footage since we had that enabled. Click the import button here. And you notice now that we have a clip so here's our animation, and this particular animation is just basically a zoom in to a certain part on a map here. If we put this in a sequence, and I'm just gonna drag my intro down, that's gonna set my 24 frames per second. You can see that by clicking on the right menu here. So that intro was recorded in 24 frames per second, and Lightworks recognizes that. Let me pull this clip down to our sequence editor. Now that we have our image sequence video clip on our sequence editor, we can edit it like any other video clip. So those are really only the two prerequisites you need to have. Now let's take a look at what happens if we import that same footage in, but do not have our detect image sequence enabled here. So I'm gonna disable that. I'm gonna go back to our Switzerland animation and we hit import. And the one thing you'll know here is, is that now we have a task that's importing a bunch of individual images. So you could certainly take these images down to your timeline and do whatever modification you wanted to on them, make them smaller, larger in time, whatever it may be. And you can come out to a similar result, but the detect image sequence feature of Lightworks makes it so much easier. Now let's say we wanted to import an image sequence and basically play it back as a presentation. So basically a slideshow of images. Uh, this is something that you can do if you've been taking uh, pictures from your iPhone or Android device. And so for example, if we find our images here, I think I've got something in pre-production here. Yep, image sequence. All right, and these are images from the iPhone. So you can see here that I have some images and you can see they're all numbered in incremental order here. And this was done by the camera itself and this particular camera was an iPhone. And uh, we can go here and we can see all the images here. Some of them are duplicates, so you're gonna see it play more than one time, like for example these. But let's say we wanted to play through these images as a slideshow instead of making a smooth video clip. Import these into Lightworks. And now we have our, our uh, images from the iPhone imported. So now that the cool thing you can do now is you can go through and change the speed of this playback. And we're gonna go 0.4%. And let's try for 4%, and 3%.
that's just about the right speed there. So you can see now we have what's really more of a slideshow, but we did that from an image sequence we imported from a series of photographs that we captured on our iPhone here. Now let's say we had a break in the numbering scheme. Uh, typically what will happen is it will recognize uh, the increment until it's no longer increasing by one, then it'll create and start a new image sequence from the next image and look for it to increment by one from there. So I'm gonna go into our pre-production video here to back to our image sequence here and I'm gonna view this as detail. And you can see here that we start at 3593 and go to 3622. So I'm gonna break it right here in the middle by deleting this specific image, 3610. So now we go to 3609 and then we start back up at 3611. So if we go back to our import, let's make sure we have detect image sequence on or enabled and go down to our image sequence data here, do an import. And what you notice now is that the clips. So what you notice now is you have two different image sequences. One that goes from the first image to whenever that incremental numbering breaks and then it starts back and recognizes a new image sequence. So now you have two different image image sequences. So just keep in mind that's what's going to happen if the file names don't have numbers that increment by one in your import directory. Now let's suppose you want to actually make an image sequence. Lightworks also allows you to export as an image sequence as well. So part of the format type down here you can scroll down and choose image sequence. You can choose the file type, lots of different file types here, TIFF, JPEG, bitmap, PNG, etc. So you can change that. You can change the size as well. And uh, you can have it create a folder for you and write all of those images to that folder. Now this is very useful if you wanna take a series of images and bring those into, say for example, a, an animation program and do some work on each individual image and then maybe re-import. So I'm just gonna take our intro here and I'm gonna export that as an image sequence and uh, show you how that works there. So I've got my default directory set. We're gonna export these PNGs. It's gonna hit start here and our task starts to work. So as you can see here, we now have these uh, series of images that represent an animation if you play those back. And you can see it goes all the way down. One of the cool things about this feature is, is that uh, if you're working in Google Earth Studio, which is something I've been playing around with a lot more, and if you create a project, let's say we create a, uh, a basic spiral in here, we can now render this. Now, Google Earth Studio by default will create an image sequence of JPEGs, right? They do have an MP4 video rendering that does it in the cloud and then you have to download it. But let's say we just wanna do uh, a image sequence here from zero to 125 frames. And uh, we're just gonna do that. And it's gonna be under untitled because I didn't give it a title. But let's, uh, all right, let's make sure the image sequence is on. All right. Let me pull this down into our sequence. And if we drag our playhead across the clip, you can see our Google Earth Studio animation. All right, that'll do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial on Lightworks Video Editor and working with image sequences. Just remember, everybody needs a plan B. Cha-cha for now.